it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Or Crump. Hey, you there. You're not talking to me, are you? Okay, good. Good thing he wasn't breaking the fourth wall. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. Salute and goodbye. I have one crystal star in my hand. And Mario has five. I must take some measures. What are those measures? And nice to know that he has the next crystal star. Keck called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Anything? Keck? What was that noise you... Was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Gordis' room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all the di all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech, really. Ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator as you up as you did earlier. Simple as that. It looks like we're getting back into another stealth mission again. It's been a while. We've played her, what, like four times already and no stealth missions? Pretty lame. Oh yeah, touch the touchpad. Now we go in. I guess I can say, hello everyone, I am Maester Mike and I am back for more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Blind. In the last episode, we finally got the Crystal Star from the Ghost Cortez. We defeated him, got the Crystal Star, and then we defeated the Exnoth as they tried to steal it back from us. So now we're back as Peach. Just had to say that. You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with a green lamp lit above it. So you're meaning all the way over here? I guess all these doors are locked. Good thing there are no x knots around here. Hurry up, Peach, you're walking too slow. Okay, this should be the way. I doubt I can go in here, right? Yep. This must be the place. Hmm, what is this? Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean, a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow! Okay, how do I make it? You must first set all the potions on the desk in the concussionator. And that mach it's a machine in the back, but even I do not know what which potion is set where. There should be memos left by this room left in this room by the X Not researchers. Please use them as references to and set the potions in the machine. Interesting. It looks like we have that little cooking game, just like the first game. Sort of. Not putting stuff in there yet. No! Place two potions between the green and red potion. Okay. I'll take the green and red potions. Obviously that means they go on the far... on the far sides. I'm just putting them there for now. Note! Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Okay, uh... Note! Do not place the red potion on the far right. Well, I guess I got this right already. That's pretty easy. Yes. Very well. Then please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. First, let me just check this note. Come on. Thank you. Place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. Okay, that was too easy. Uh, gonna, oh wait. I guess I pressed the, this flashing button. Mix them up. What do I do now? They press this or something? Or just wait for that? Uh, please press the button where where the beaker stops to dispense these potions. Okay? Cool. 
red and blue makes purple. Wait, what? Okay, I guess they all go back and forth. Just be careful here. Go to the green. No, no. Alright. Go to green. Alright. Are you almost done? This should be it. I will heat the mixed potion in the bake beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating stop starts to stop the machine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Alright, we got it. Should be ready. What happens if I don't do it right? That was a nice little game. Good thing Peach is doing something interesting for once. By my calculations, it should be finished, but... Did it come out correctly, do you think? Yes. Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. <laughs> you have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But, I must ask you to take off your dress, however, even though the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent! No way! Especially for a Mario game. Oh, fine, I guess. If it's the only way... Yikes. This is... Peach is now completely stripping down naked. I'll... This is not something you see every day. Oh boy. When you go into Sir Grotus' room, first locate the disk with the recorded data. Then insert that disk into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to the room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus' room. Man. Peach just completely stripped down naked. That is just wrong. Well, looks like there are Exnots again. What? Okay, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though there's no one here? A malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? You're losing it. I bet these rooms will become important to later on as Peach, as we're playing as her more often. Not in that way. I think that was the dressing room. Or is this the dressing room? I don't remember what all these rooms are for. I think we come in here as Mario sometime later, so... Maybe we'll see what they do later, if we haven't gone into them all. I know that Mario goes into the Exonaut Fortress sometime soon, so... Uh-oh. The... The Red Yucks. Hello, Yucks. I'm gonna slip in here without you noticing. <laughs> this is a cool place. This must be Grotus' room. Now where's that disc? Like the evil little chain chomp, and Peach's, Peach's shadow is really hard to see. Found it! This must be it! You got a data disk! A disk from Grotus' room. What kind of data is on it? Um, oh yeah, now I insert the disk into the computer and connect to the network. Just wait, let me check around. I like his little carpet. Looks nice. The cool little office. Hold on a sec. Okay, I guess this all leads to the same place. Put it in the desk. Okay, that music... What is that music from? That sounds like it's from something. It has to be some Nintendo game. I'm not sure what. If anyone would comment on me, please tell me what that's from. I did it! Yes! I did it! It's working! Is it some sort of spin-off Mario game? Like, one of the educational type games? You can barely even see the sprites of them right down there. Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. Good job, Peach. Good job. There, like I was never here. Something tells me that Grotus is gonna come in in 3, 2, 1... Okay, I guess not. But Grotus should be here. Hello again, yucks. I guess Grotus is not here. Well, good. You made it through undetected, Peach. Good job. Hopefully we don't get caught. We always Peach always got caught by Bowser's guards whenever she was sneaking around that castle. In the first game, so let's hope we don't get caught by the Exnauts. Who know what who knows what they'll do to us? They'll probably just put us back in the cell. But oh well. Are you losing your mind again, Exnaut? 
Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the da data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It's quite simple, actually. Merely drink the po green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on there one minute. Do I do the whole thing again? Thank you for putting on your clothes again. <laughs> that looks kind of funny. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here. The green potion, right? Uh, what? This one? Okay, that was easy. What a relief! I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. I wonder what happens if I drunk the other ones. I could probably do that some other playthrough of mine if I do it play this game again, which I most likely will. Looks like the X-Nauts conveniently disappeared so that Peach wouldn't be caught. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decide for the, the data, huh? Good, then I'll use the communicator, thanks. He'll probably decipher it next chapter. Most likely. I've written my message. Would you send it? I don't get why Tech allows that. He's working for the bad guys. Why does he allow Peach to let Mario know what the x Not's plans are? I guess I'll never know. And I know I already asked that before, but oh well. The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. He's starting to care. He's realizing what love is. And now we're going back to Bowser. Show us what you're doing, Bowser. Will we get to play as you in another Super Mario Bros-esque stage? But you're in Twilight... Yep, I knew it. You're in Twilight Town. And then... Well, hello, Crump. Looks like Bowser's gonna have to meet you. Blah! What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's on because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put this... Let's go to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go do it. Let's go to it. Hello, Crump. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure Bell them said she lost her Super Bob Alma somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. I thought you were gonna know Spouser or something. You found it! Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the Crystal Stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog! Buh! 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 <laughs> the look of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. That's a weird way of putting it. You there! Suspicious guy! You know something about the Crystal Stars, don't you? Huh? Somebody there? Hey! What's the big idea, turtle boy? You're looking for the Crystal Stars, too? Sweet! This'll help the Crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. Now! Oh, uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill out every bit of info on out of your big, ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa there, big guy! I mean, no! Wait! What am I afraid of? You? Buh! 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 <laughs> if you think you can take it from me, whatever, I'm not saying things right. If you think you can take me, then try it, chubby! All troops, report! Hello, x -Nots. I like how he has a million x as Beck can call whenever he calls. Buh! 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 <laughs> I love doing his voice. Yeah? You like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? Oh, you think you have a lot of people? <laughs> you dare stop at us, Koopa Clan! Fire up! You think you have a lot of minions? Check ours out. Whoa! Well played! <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Fight! It's a fight! <laughs> oh, I got a laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers! Eat this, turtle dorks! Super bomb! -om! Don't throw that at us! Incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off! <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur! Watch and learn! Oh crud. 
They're about as smart as the people in Looney Tunes. Boom! And that was the end of Twilight Town. It's all ruins now. What an interesting chapter. Quite entertaining. I love these interludes. But it seems like we always seem to go back and forth between Peach doing something interesting and Bowser not, and then vice versa, with Peach doing nothing interesting and then Bowser doing something fun. But anyway, that's where we'll end this off. I'll, I'll see you guys later. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.